just go right up on here in Bangalore was well over 10 years ago in 2007. And I was pleased to be a part of that. I was engaged from here in Karnataka and from across India. And there are MSMEs and there are startups, even Garuda Aerospace. We, we announced a, a relationship uh, with them just two weeks. We're looking forward to Aero India coming up uh, in early next year as, as another opportunity to take it to the next level. I'd like engagements hosting in the United States. Uh, and even more often here in Bangalore. Um, the other thing I'd like to highlight in my opening address is that um, bringing together our tier one partners, our tier one strategic partners, those are companies that are like, such as GE, Raytheon, uh, Elbit. Uh, uh, with that, I'm gonna turn it back to our MC uh, for the, for, and what we're going to do is recognize a couple of key suppliers too uh, with a couple of awards. Back to you, IJ of the then Chief Minister Sri J.H. Patel in 9697, the Chief Minister has been a member of the Manifesto Committee of the Bharatiya Janata Party in 2008-2013. Thank you so much. Today we have two important announcements to make. Both of them focus on the reinforcement of Lockheed Martin's commitment towards encouraging ceremony to mark a job well done by one of our esteemed partners, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited represented by Sri Vipin May. All of you for your participation in our ninth supplier conference. Respected, uh, respected Chief Minister, we are honored by your presence and we want to thank you for Tier 1 suppliers and all the people here, the supply chain that's here. And I want to thank you for your presence here. We look forward to partnering with all of you. Well, Chief Minister, thank you for your presence and for the entire team that put together this event. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Karnataka the Arthika Belavan Gaili Idundu Atyanta Mahatu the Dinantan and Bausitene Karnataka the Arthika Pragati Samagra Bartha the Arthika Pradi Jotege Jorchide Higagi Karnataka Pragati Aguadu Atenta Mahatu Dide Hintavando Jagtika Bandwala Hudke Dara Samelake Yella Hudke Darana Matuili Nerdanta Yella Audogika Rangada Lirvanta Yella Mahani Ranan and Matome I Raja Mukestanagi Hurde Purkwadanta Swagatavanan and Kurtaite. Ivato, Ijaktika Bandala Hudkege, Agam Sirvanta, Yella Mahani Ro Idra, when the Mahatu of Nai Hetisidare, Madle Dagi, Nama Gantavata, Raja Pal Radanta, Sri Tavatan Geloji, Namore, Nama Raja Dindane, Rad Sabage, Pratinit Suanta, Nama Hemea Kendra the Hankasina Sachuru Idi Desha the Hankasina Jav Dari and Hatu Barata Deshavana Artika Nakshali Atenta Unata Mateke Tagitkun Hogiravanta Sanmane Sri Srimati Nirmala Sitaramanji Idi Barata Desha the Odomika Rangadali 
ತಮ್ಮದೇ ಆದಂಥ ಹೆಸರನ್ನು ಚಾಪನ್ನು ಮುಡಿಸಿ ಹತ್ತು ಹಲವಾರು ವರ್ಷ ಭಾರತದ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತು ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಗತಿ ಆಗೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕ್ಷಮತೆಯಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಿರುವಂಥ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಿಯೂಷ್ ಗೋಯಲ್ಜಿ ನಮ್ಮವರೇ ಕೇಂದ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಭಾವಿ ಸಚಿವರಾಗಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕವನ್ನು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸಮರ್ಥವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯೋಜನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಪರಿಹಾರವನ್ನು ದೊರಕಿಸಿಕೊಡುವಂಥ ನಾಯಕತ್ವವನ್ನು ವಹಿಸಿರುವಂಥ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಜೋಶಿಜಿ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರು ನಮ್ಮವರೇ ಸ್ವಂತ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲಿಸ್ಟಾಗಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯ ನಾಯಕರಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಇಡೀ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶದ ಐ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಯಕತ್ವವನ್ನು ಒದಗಿಸ್ತಿರುವಂಥ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ಜಿ ಹಾಗೂ ವಿಶೇಷವಾದ ಅವನತರಾಗಿ ಬಂದಿರುವಂಥ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕಳಕಳಿ ಇದ್ದು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಾನು ಕೂಡ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಂಥ ದಂತವತ್ತ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ರಾಜಮಾತಾ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ರಾಜಮಾತಾದಂಥ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ದೇವಿ ಒಡೆಯರ್ಜಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಜಾಗತಿಕ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಟಿಗೆ ಕಳೆದ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಪಟ್ಟು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಮೀಟಿನ ಅನುಭವ ಹೊಂದಿರುವಂಥ ತಾವೇ ಸ್ವಂತ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂಥ ನೀನು ಉದ್ಯಮಿ ಆಗು ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಅಲ್ಲ ಉದ್ಯಮಿ ಆಗು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆಯನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂಥ ನನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರಾದಂಥ ಮುರುಗೇಶ್ ನಿರಾಣ್ಜಿ ಅವರೇ ನನ್ನ ಸಚಿವ ಸಂಪುಟದ ಸಚಿವಗಳು ಐ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸಚಿವರು ಇದೇ ತಿಂಗಳು ಐ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಮ್ಮಿಟನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿರುವಂಥ ಐ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಮಾಡಿರುವಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿ ಎನ್ ಅಶ್ವಥ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅವರೇ ಸಣ್ಣ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಾಜಿ ವಹಿಸಿ ಅದೆಂದೂ ಕೂಡ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಸಣ್ಣ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸದಾ ಧ್ವನಿಯನ್ನು ಎತ್ತಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಪರಿಹಾರವನ್ನು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸಮರ್ಥವೇ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂಥ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಿರಿಯ ಸಚಿವರಾದಂಥ ಎಂ ಟಿ ನಾಗರಾಜ್ ಅವರೇ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಮೇಲಿರುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ದೇಶದ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕಾ ಉದ್ಯಮಗಳೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆರೆದಿರುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಂಧು ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೇರಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ತಂಗಿಯರಿ ಅಣ್ಣ ತಮ್ಮಂದರೆ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರು ನನಗೆ ಭಾಳ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಗ್ತಾಯಿದೆ ಕೋವಿಡಿನ ನಂತರ ಯಾವುದಾದರೂ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಈ ಥರದ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೀಟನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಟನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ಗಳ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸವನ್ನು ಗಳಿಸಿ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಕ್ರಿಯೆ ರಿಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸನ್ನು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏಳು ಲಕ್ಷಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕೋಟಿ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟು ಬರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಒಂದು ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಪರಂಪರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಕೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರ ಮೇಲೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಇಡೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಇಡಬೇಕು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕೆಪೇಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಕೆಲಮಿಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಕೆಲಮಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಮೆಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್
not by words. This is the, our strength. This is our resolve. And this is our vision too. Hence, we see that along with the recovery of pandemic in Karnataka especially, economy recovered much more faster. Nama Artika Belavanage, Koidina, Ninda Hargade Paranta, Sandra Delhi, Artika Belang, Azikinta Adikwagit. Kalada Varshanama Bajatina, Revenue Collection Goal in Itu, Adarkinta, Hadamuru, Savira Koti, Hetu Collection Madivi, Arda Varsha Koid Drukuda, Artingalali, Nama Artika Belavanage, Nama Sarkar, the Dakshate. Hadamuru Savira Koti now you want to have to collect one. As uh, Madam Nirmala Sitaramji knows that uh, when uh, around October, November last year, we were lagging behind 5,000 crores in our revenue collections. But by end of May, we not only collected the 5,000 crores, we collected 13,000 crores more than our target. That is the strength of our economic activity. We are one of the highest GST collection states. In fact, we are number two now. And Madam will be very happy. We were number three and number four last year, but we have become number two PUSD. Therefore, the activity down at the ground is swelling. And we have to respond from the top. We should have a better policy. We should have a better eco ecosystem. And that's exactly what we are doing. Karnataka is not only a place for a better ecosystem. We are forward-looking policy state. We have policies for ease of doing business industrial incentive policies. Apart from that, we have got policies on semiconductors. We have got policy on EV. Plus, this year, we have brought in policy for encouragement of R&D. It's a Karnataka is the first state to bring in policy for R&D. In a sentence if you want to describe it r and d policy is we're going to encourage the r and d from garage to the biggest institutions and to complement our r and d policy we have got niche institutions like indian institute of science now we have got iit then uh, we have got iams we have got cftri we have got drdo whole lot of institutions Premier institutions are there in Karnataka. And R&D policy was very much necessary because 400 niche R&D policies are there in Bangalore. More than five to 10,000. Murgesh, one second. I want to tell my minister something. More than five to 10,000 engineers from all over the world land up in Bangalore to participate in all the R&D activities in all the multinational and international R&D centers here. POC, Bangalore is one city where more than 400 international R&Ds are there, which no other city in the world, not in India, no other city in, in the world can boost off. And what is the range? The range is from human genomics to the aerospace. From, from the ground to the space. That is the range of R&D we are doing. Therefore, the future of not only Karnataka, not only India, not only globe, the future of human development is happening in Karnataka. That is what I want to emphasize. And uh, rightly so, our Niti Ayog 
has been consistently rating Karnataka as number one innovation state. And you know, innovation is not an easy job to do. It is most unrewarding job unless central is recognized. Therefore, we have brought in R&D policy. The second policy which I want to talk is policy on employment. I might be a little wrong, out of place here, but the facts are facts I have to put forward. What all investment comes, it is good for the economy. It is good for the economy of the state and the country. But as a head of the state, I have to be very carefully looking into it, what is good for my people also. It is not only good enough for the nation and the state to be rich. It is very much important that people of the country and the state also be benefited. They should also be economically strong. They should be also rich. People of this country and state should be rich. And that comes only through hard work, and the hard work comes through employment opportunities. Therefore, I have made an employment policy. My dear friends who are investing and who are invested, the good news is we are going to give all the incentives on the capital investments. You need not worry. Not even a single percent will be reduced. It, will be, it can be much more. But those who can employ more, the incentives will be more. If we employ more people, more incentives are going to come. And that is going to flow back in the system. Therefore, we have policy where your employees will be very happy. Employees will be well paid, very, they'll be very happy. More production output will come to you. Ultimately, in business, whatever we invest, it has to come back. It can come back in the form of profits. It can come back in the form of goodwill. It can come back as a value addition to your products. And that's going to happen in Karnataka. And Karnataka is a place where challenges are met. We are not only part of the problem. Myself and my government want to be a part of solution. There's a solution for all the problems. Hence, there are some issues, policy issues, there might be some infrastructure issues, where we will meet them very squarely, sitting on the table across. We can solve all those issues, and we have been solving them. So I want to assure every investor that please come, invest, be prosperous, make the state prosperous, and more than anything else, have a good experience of investment, good experiment of business doing. Karnataka is a place where you feel at home. You feel at home after investing. You can be rest assured that whatever you have invested, whatever you have sown the seed, you will reap the fruits very soon. The failures are very little in Karnataka unless in some other parts. And as uh, our Piyush Goelji and Madam has stressed, the competition is most welcome. Some states are really worried about the competition. But I am the one who welcomes the competition. Competition keeps us on our heels and it keeps us efficient. Without competition, yeah, without competition, it's a complacent. With competition, it's efficient. Therefore, our competition is, is a global competition. We know the economic situation better than anybody. After COVID, the economic scenario of the world has changed. The countries who were giants in economy, they are now fighting their inflation 
and fighting their decisions. Therefore, the entire other worlds are looking towards the, the developing countries. And I don't want to stress much more. I think uh, Piyushi has said that China plus one is the buzzword now. And China plus one destinations are very few. And the major destination is India. This is an opportunity. That's why I said we are going to con convert this calamity into opportunity. Hence, we are making a special study on this. And we're going to amend a lot of things in favor of the investors so that we take the best of the advantage of the global scenario and uh, compete with the other third world countries where high productivity rate is there. I want Karnataka to be a high productivity rate, highly efficient productions, highly quality product productions, and we're going to stress on that. There is no magic in economy. There is no magic in economy, only results. So what matters is results. Therefore, my, all my concentration is after this investor meet to convert this investment into reality. The investment on paper should be on the ground. That is my aim. Therefore, as a prelude to this, we have already approved more than 2.880 lakh crores of investment before this meet. The rest of the investments, we will be engaging with them. In next three months, we will decide about the next investments. I want to tell one more thing. Government is in, into a very serious business making. We are very serious about this. Government is very serious. And I want investors to be also serious. We mean business. Whatever has been signed today should be converted into action. And we'll, we'll be going out of the way. We have got certain policies where you have to just issue us an affidavit that these are the things we want to do, these are the permissions we need. We need not wait for the permissions. You can start off within two years, you can get all the permissions. That's why we are number one in ease of doing business. We are number one in, uh, in innovation. We are the highest FDI attraction state. And we are uh, number one in, uh, 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 there are so many number ones. I, sometimes I feel little. Number one in aerospace, machine tools, biotech, electronic designs, and so on and so forth. And number one in startups. And number one in renewable energy. And number one in unicorns. Out of 105, we have got more than 35 unicorns in uh, Karnataka. Out of four decacons, three are here in Karnataka. That speaks volume. We are very strong in manufacturing. We are very strong in services. We are very strong in ITBT. We are very strong in now in startups. Therefore, this is the right destination and uh, right state to come in. And uh, I congratulate each one of your investors that you have made a right choice, a wiser choice, as our minister mentioned. And I assure you that you will never be disappointed. And what is the proof? The proof is all the mega industries which have been invested in and his vision for make in India, Atma Nirbar, and Sabke Saath, Sabka Vikas, we are in tune with his leadership, his vision, and we are going to take it forward. And as he himself mentioned lastly, the double engine government, it is a true sense double engine government where we have a lot of support, a lot of guidance from government of India. And some of the policies 
with honorable finance minister has announced in the budget especially in the infrastructure karnataka has been benefited the most and some of the programs of honorable prime minister has really benefited to the karnataka the most with this kind of investments there has been investment coming from government of india also hence the investment of government of india in infrastructure and investment of industry list and the response of karnataka with a better business and more business more economy and result oriented economy a resilient and sustainable economic growth i don't want to name the figures but the atmosphere is really charged up here and you have really charged it two times by coming here and investing in karnataka and committing to invest in karnataka therefore once again i thank each one of you been part of the journey of economic growth of the state and the country i am i want to tell you that you have been a you have got a important role from today to play where our prime minister dream of 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025 and uh, in karnataka we have decided that we will contribute 1 trillion dollar for that 5 trillion dollar economy and we have already started working on it we are putting our strategies in place we have identified the niche areas and we are going to have a full steam some people asked me some press people asked me that uh, after covid how dare you can do this and especially you are going for elections in the month of may the amount of investment which has come it shows the faith of the investor which has they have reposed in us i answered him that we have got faith in our people we have got faith in the strength of karnataka we have got faith in the investors and i assure all the investors that we will be there next year and that other next year to hand holding not only hand holding walk, walking with you shoulder to shoulder our government will be there to implement this that is the commitment that is the confidence which i want to repose to all the investors as well as the people of karnataka that's why i am going to declare that next karnataka invest karnataka global investors meet will be in 2025 january that is the confidence which i want to repose thank you once again everybody a big thank you ellarigo ಅನಂತ ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ವೇದಿಕೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರುವಂಥ ಗಂತವತ್ತ ಗವರ್ನರಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸಚಿವರಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ನನ್ನ ಸಚಿವ ಪಡೆದ ಸಮೂಹಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಉದ್ಯಮಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಅನಂತ ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಶುಭವಾಗಲಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಅಮಂಗಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು in lockheed martin supplies conference mr william blair mr vincent mrs abby lily and uh, my principal secretary manjunath prasad and commissioner for industry <coughs> gunjam krishna lockheed martin has made a mark for itself in uh, security systems and uh, in aerospace it has set a very high standards and uh, it has been giving solutions to the newer challenges as they come everybody looks <coughs> for luck it and it's their vast experience they have been able to put up a very strong supply chain all over the world they are in bangalore probably more than 25 years now 
and uh, there is a strong supplier chain. More the supplier chain is more of technology driven, and as he was, uh, as uh, William was explaining to me, lot of uh, <coughs> MSMEs to large industries are into the supplier chain because a uh, lot of new systems have been created at the supplier end and it has been brought to the platform of Lockheed. Lockheed uh, is an ever-expanding company, expanding in terms of technology too. And uh, it is in almost all sector, electrical, mechanical, electronics, artificial intelligence, you name it, it is there. And being part of such a company itself is a great advantage for anybody, including the startups. And uh, nowadays, uh, digitalization has overtaken everything, hence, the need of the software to run an entire system, entire machine, software has become an essential part of it. Therefore, probably Lockheed suppliers are on the entire spectrum of different activities. And they have been helping Lockheed to come to uh, international, ever-challenging levels. And in turn, Lockheed is helping the suppliers to come up to the international standards. And both put together, are putting India on an international map in manufacturing the aerospace and uh, security systems. Hence, uh, I feel it is all the more important uh, for a country like India, which is a developing country and emerging economy, to have companies like Lockheed, technology is what Lockheed possesses, the skill manpower, and Karnataka and Bangalore is the best eco space for it, as you all there to see. And any company which has set up, uh, even, even their suppliers are from Bangalore, they are uh, really being very contented uh, uh, with their suppliers because of the quality which we inculcate in our state, which is very few other places can boost off. Hence, that culture has been now been a part of the manufacturing. Therefore, I wish everybody the best of success and under the leadership of Lockheed, let the Lockheed grow to multi times and let it bring new technologies, new challenges. And our people are so much uh, very well equipped with technology. They can stand up to any international challenges. And I am proud of all my engineers, I am proud of all my technicians. These are the people who will shape the future of our country. And I am really happy. And um, I can just suggest Lockheed that any expansion, anywhere, it should be in uh, Karnataka and Bangalore. And we are there all to support. Thank you.